Hi there, this is Niels from New Relic, and today I'll be demoing for you a new set of administrative capabilities which help you better manage which features and functionality users can leverage within your New Relic account. We call this role-based access control. You can access this functionality by first navigating to your account settings page via the drop-down menu in the upper right-hand side of your account. Once there, click on Users and Roles in the left-hand navigation. When you first get to the Users and Roles UI, you'll find a listing of all users on your account as well as their respective permissions. By default, there are four base roles in New Relic, Owner, Admin, User, and Restricted User. The Owner role is typically given to the person who created your New Relic account. The owner can transfer ownership to another user, but as an administrator, you can only give the roles of admin, user, or restricted user to anyone else on the account. To view the default permissions for any one of these roles, simply click on their name in the Roles section of the left-hand navigation. There, you'll find a table explaining the base role's ability to view, modify or delete a variety of settings within each major product section of New Relic. The most basic role, the restricted user, is for example only capable of viewing data in New Relic. Oftentimes customers use this or the user role for shared screens or dashboards throughout their office. Let's say that we'd like to grant a particular user the ability to fully administrate APM but we do not want that user to be able to administrate things like alerts or any of the other products within the account. In this case, this is where add-on roles come in handy. Let's take a look. Here you can see that for Niels, I'd like to roll him back to a restricted user. I navigate to the bottom and see the add-on role of APM Manager. By selecting APM Manager, I can now see in the table to the right that this user will have full permissions to administer all of APM, but no other products within New Relic. In addition to the out-of-the-box add-on roles, you may find it necessary to create a custom add-on role with finer grained levels of permissions. Let's say, for example, we'd like the ability for our engineers to administrate everything within APM, but not delete applications from our instance. In this case, we can choose with a few clicks of a button this fine-tuned level of permissions. In addition to that, we could say that we'd also like them to be able to acknowledge or close alerts, but not be able to create alert policies. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. For more information about role-based access control, go to docs.newrelic.com and search for users and roles. Happy troubleshooting!